What's up guys? Today's video is on the top 5 best graphics cards. There's a lot of choice for graphics cards. We are getting closer to that time of year when the graphics cards might not be the best graphics cards for much longer. With new GPUs on the horizon, expect to see some of our favorite GPUs at the top of the list get replaced by something bigger and more powerful by Nvidia, AMD, and even Intel, opens in new tab. When shopping around for the best graphics card, you'll want one that provides a superior frame rate at the highest graphical settings at your preferred resolution. Oh, and it should also fit within your budget. Thankfully, the GPUs listed below offer the performance per dollar value for PC gaming. The best part, most of these graphics cards are becoming increasingly and edging back to below MSRP, available as the great GPU shortage dramatically ends. Nvidia and AMD couldn't be in better positions, both vying for the top spot in this generation with some truly competitive offerings. Throw in the Intel Arc Alchemist graphics cards later this year as a wild card, and you can expect to see things heat up as the next generation of GPUs enter our lives. It's important to note that with new GPUs coming soon, expect more performance for less, though the more budget-conscious GPUs like the RTX 3060, opens in new tab, or RX 6600 XT, opens in new tab, aren't likely to be replaced by shiny new cards immediately. However, if you're after something a little more high-powered, maybe wait a minute before splurging out on a GPU right now. Mom's Fantasy is the best choose for moms and babies. Number 1. Asus Dual NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. The RTX 3050 is the newest budget Ampere video card designed with 1080p60 in mind, making it perfect for those budget-minded PC gamers in 2022. Armed in the same 8GB GDDR6 memory that you'll find in pricier RTX 30 series GPUs is our roundup. The RTX 3050 is the budget graphics card that you can get right now. In our testing, we found that even more demanding titles such as Guardians of the Galaxy, Control, and Metro Exodus ran at a rock-solid 60fps with ray tracing and DLSS enabled in full HD. 1440p is also decent in many games, though it's usually going to be a toss-up between having visual fidelity and performance, as a 60fps average normally means disabling ray tracing and going heavier on the DLSS upscaling options. Regardless of how you push to that that smooth frame rate, this video card can keep up well under most circumstances. You need to keep your expectations in check, of course, as the RTX 3050 is a wallet-friendly GPU designed to replace the likes of the perennially popular GTX 1650 and 1660 lines. That means that 4K just isn't on the cards for this particular model, but if you're after something affordable that gives you ray tracing then you really can't go wrong. The RTX 3050 launched with an MSRP of $250, and at the time of writing, you can find RTX 3050 stock for around the $300 mark if you know where to look. Specification and Features Graphics Coprocessor NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Brand Asus Graphics RAM Size 8GB GPU Clock Speed 1.85GHz Video Output Interface PCI Express 4.0 Reasons to buy 8GB memory Decent 1080p and 1440p performance Ray tracing support Reasons to avoid reliant on DLSS for 60fps Number 2 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060T The value ampere to date The RTX 3060T is very closely related to the RTX 3070 both utilize the same GA104 GPU, the RTX 3060T has fewer SMS enabled, with the same 8GB of GDDR6 memory across a 256-bit bus. While 17% less capable in core count than its pricier sibling, the RTX 3060T makes up for it with some judicious GPU boost frequencies. That partially explains why the RTX 3060T can be within 17% to just single digits off the pace of the RTX 3070, despite operating at a silicon disadvantage. Not bad for a $399 card, if you can find it for that price. 
The RTX 3060T delivers gaming performance that's rather stupendous when you look at generational gains over even the RTX 20 series. Next to the GTX 10 series, it's quite frightening, actually. There's exceptional 1080p and 1440p performance in a tiny package here, the likes of which would have set you back something close to twice as much cash a couple of years ago. And that's pretty great. This card is even capable of dabbling with high-fidelity 4K gaming, although you're going to have to massage some graphics settings in order to really crack a solid 60fps in more demanding games. And that's often just in terms of average frame rates, to keep your GPU above 60fps requires a lot of tinkering. That can sometimes take the fun out of 4K gaming in the first place. It's a much smoother affair at 1440p, and at 1080p you can pretty much max everything out and just go. Specification and features, graphics coprocessor, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060T. Brand, Asus, graphics RAM size, 8GB, GPU clock speed, 1785 MHz. Video output interface, PCI Express 4.0. Reasons to buy, finally, something a little more affordable. 2080 Super Performance, under $400, chunkier GPU than RTX 3060. Reasons to avoid, not quite good enough for 4K in all instances. 8GB VRAM is less than AMD offers. Number 3. Asus TUF Gaming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080T. For as powerful as the RTX 3080T is, especially given its upgrade to 12GB GDDR6X VRAM as opposed to the original model's 10GB, that boost in power comes at a steep price of an additional $500 above the stock RTX 3080, pricing it comparatively closer to the RTX 3090's $1499 MSRP, which has double the available memory. Price aside, however, there's little debate that the RTX 3080T is a formidable GPU for high-end 4K gaming as the benchmarks can indicate. We're essentially seeing a noticeable improvement on the stock RTX 3080, but that power difference comes into its own when looking at games such as Cyberpunk 2077 which, at the time of writing, cannot yet hit native 4K60 on anything right now. Make no mistake, you're getting an incredibly capable and future-proof GPU that's going to be able to burn through the vast majority of demanding games in 1440p and 4K with no compromises for many years to come. Specification and features, graphics coprocessor, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080T brand, Asus graphics RAM size, 12GB video output interface, DisplayPort, HDMI chipset brand, NVIDIA. Reasons to buy, Phenomenal 4K performance. Incredible for ray tracing. Comparable to RTX 3090 in-game. Reasons to avoid. It's massive. Number 4. AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. The RTX 3090 may have sat unchallenged at the top rungs of graphics performance at launch, but it wouldn't be long until AMD rustled together a challenger in the RX 6900 XT, or Big Navi. The RX 6900 XT hopes to knock Ampere's finest from its perch on high and send it spiraling back down to earth. And it gets kind of close, too, with 4K performance a little off the pace of the RTX 3090, and all for one-third off the asking price. For that reason, it's simply the better buy for any PC gamer without any ulterior motives of the Procreator variety. But there's a reason it's not number one in our graphics card guide today, and that's simply due to the fact it's not that much better than an RTX 3080, and sometimes not at all. It's another $300 on top of the RTX 3080's recommended price tag, and you'd hope for higher performance in both rasterized and ray tracing workloads. Yet, inevitably its ray tracing acceleration lags behind the competition. Even within AMD's lineup, there's no pressing argument to pick this up over more affordable offerings. With a $350 price premium over the RX 6800 XT, the RX 6900 XT offers little return on your sizable investment. The RX 6900 XT is 53% more expensive than the RX 6800 XT, yet offers just 5.25% more performance in games. 
That's why it's strange that AMD is making a point of the RX 6900 XT being a card built for gaming first. Even Nvidia didn't make that mistake, billing the RTX 3090 as a Pro Creator card with a substantial increase in memory capacity over the second run gaming card below to help justify the cost. It's far more difficult to justify the cost of the RX 6900 XT, sharing as many qualities with far cheaper cards as it does and with the slight performance gain it's able to deliver from its few upgrades. Specification and Features Graphics Coprocessor AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT Brand AMD Graphics RAM Size 16GB GPU Clock Speed 2015GHz Video Output Interface DisplayPort HDMI Reasons to Buy Occasional RTX 3090 performance. But cheaper, reasons to avoid, can lag behind RTX 3080 at times. Mediocre ray tracing performance. Number 5. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090T. While the RTX 3090T is likely to be complete overkill for the vast majority of PC gamers, there's no denying the kind of performance that the new BF GPU refresh is able to deliver as the most powerful GeForce GPU ever released to date. In terms of what makes the new T variant different from the original model which was released nearly two years ago, you're looking at a bump up to 21 gigabits per second effective memory and 1008 gigabytes per second bandwidth alongside 256 more CUDA cores and 8 more tensor cores, and 2 more RT cores. This extra power gives the RTX 3090T even more frames to work with in the latest games, not to mention effectively future-proofing this model for many years with the 24GB GDDR6X VRAM. In our testing, we found that there was very little that could rival the RTX 3090T in terms of both our suite of benchmarking software and demanding ray-traced games. This hulking video card delivers frame rates far exceeding 4K60 in all but one of the games we tested it in, and easily well above 100 FPS in 1440p with all the slides dialed up to their absolute maximum. There's some serious power under the hood for those who want of the best when pushing Ampere GA102 to its absolute limits. Specification and Features Graphics Coprocessor NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090T Brand Asus Graphics RAM Size, 24GB Video Output Interface, DisplayPort, HDMI Chipset Brand, NVIDIA. Reasons to buy, the most powerful GeForce GPU yet. Achieves almost 1TB per second bandwidth. Future-proofed for many years. Reasons to avoid, massive 450W TDP. It's huge. You wanted the best. You got it. Thanks for watching. And that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time. See you guys later.